Hi, we're the Robo Avatars, and this is our info video on mechanism wheels. So, what we have here today is a Nexus 4 inch mechanism wheel. The main component of this mechanism wheel are these black rollers. These black rollers allow the robot to shave side to side. This mechanism wheel is very unique because its design allows for movement in all four directions. For this reason, we'll be using this wheel on a robot this season. It is a special wheel with a series of rollers attached to its circumference. These rollers typically each have an axis of rotation at 45 degrees to the plane of the wheel. By alternating these outer wheels with left and right handed rollers, the vehicle can be made to move in any direction and turn by varying the direction of rotation. Just like the standard tank drive, moving all four wheels in the same direction causes forward or backward movements. In addition, swing and point turns work just like with any other wheel. Combinations of these wheel motions allow for vehicle motion in any direction with any vehicle rotation. For example, if I were to move the left back and the right front forwards, and the left front and the right back backwards, this would cause the robot to straight to the right. If I were to do the opposite, it would straight to the left. So now we're going to give a quick demo on the functionality of the strafing on the robot. First, we're going to straight to the right. Then we're going to straight to the left. In addition, the mechanism wheels on the robot allow for tank drive motions. We're going to go forwards, backwards, to the left, and to the right. We favor this design because it saves time, it's more efficient, and the controlled mobility allows for better maneuverability around the field. Now we're going to be getting into how to implement the mechanism wheels into Telia using the following set of expressions. And by adding and subtracting the joystick values, we can easily add the strafing functionality to a basic tank drive in Teleop using a mechanism wheel robot. As you know in tank drive, we start off by setting the left wheels as the left joystick y-axis and the right wheels as the right joystick y-axis. As you can see here, to add strafing, we're going to manipulate the left joystick x-axis. In our current robot configuration, we have it set up so that if our right front wheel goes forward, as well as our left back wheel goes forward, and our left front wheel goes backwards, as well as our right back wheel goes backwards, we'll have the robot strafe to the right. And as you can see here, we have it set, if we move the joystick x-axis, the left joystick x-axis to be specific, if we move that to the right, then we're going to be adding power to the left back and the right front wheels, so they'll be going forward, and we're going to be subtracting from the left front and the right back wheel, so they're going to be going uh, negative, so this allows us to strafe to the right. And then if we do the opposite, so if we move the joystick to the left, then that'll allow us to strafe to the left. Depending on how your mechanism wheels are set up, you might have to switch the, pot, the addition and subtraction signs, as you can see here. But other than that, this is basically how you guys are going to set up the strafing functionality for uh, mechanism wheels in Teleop.